Why does it hurt? Not a single member of the Biden regime would dare to go to this portion of Ohio and breathe in the air because they know it's dangerous. They know that it is actively poisoning the citizens of Eastern Ohio. So why is it that they kind of shrug their shoulders and they say, ah, yeah, okay, whatever. It's very simple. It's because the war on white people continues. Why would you care for the white working class voters in Eastern Ohio? You haven't cared about them in other reasons or other portions, and I will prove it to you. If this train derailment happened in downtown Atlanta, in the densely populated black neighborhoods, this would be the number one news story. It would be Flint water crisis 2.0. There would be clamoring and activism and talks for reparations. And Buttigieg, meanwhile, is out there saying, listen, while this derailment is happening, while the act of poisoning is happening, he's saying, look, the problem is that workers are too white. Play cut 42. We've heard way too many stories from generations past of infrastructure where you got a neighborhood, often a neighborhood of color, that finally sees the project come to them, but everyone in the hard hats on that project looking like, uh, you know, doing, doing the good paying jobs, don't look like they came from anywhere near the neighborhood. Right. You can build community wealth that will help close wealth gaps in this country if we can tear down those barriers. But that happens at the delivery level. So Buttigieg is out talking about how workers are too white. For the last couple of years, I have been warning about this crusade against white people and people shrug their shoulders and say, oh, Charlie, why does that matter? I could tell you why it matters. When there's a crisis now and the leaders hate working class whites, they're not gonna scramble to save your life. They'll lie to you and tell you to go back home while you're poisoned. 